again. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel today. Um, if this is your first time, welcome. Seriously. Uh, if you've been before, then of course, welcome back, fam. Okay. Um, super excited about today because I love this book. This is going to be a book review, you guys. Um, I love to read. Um, I like all kind of reading, but I'm definitely an old school fan. So I love to get me an actual book, curl up with something good in my cup to sip on and um, go ahead and make it happen, okay? Um, so, by the way, if you do not know who I am, by the way, my name is Sheba, also known as Bare Skin and Lips. Um, and make sure that you subscribe, seriously. Subscribe, like the video, uh, share it with someone, uh, and uh, make sure that you hit that bell anytime I'm dropping new content, which is gonna be every week, you guys. Uh, make sure that you follow through so you can check it out, okay? So jumping right into it look this cover says it all this cover says juicy man this book is so juicy the name of it is foolish at 40 okay um the author for the book is going to be casey lee perkins uh i'm not gonna spoil it okay um you guys may want to go out and get this book you may want to read it you may want to get the audio um so i don't want to spoil it for you because it's definitely worth uh, the read. Okay. And, um, so just the main character in this particular, um, in this, in this book is going to be Isis. Um, Isis is starting a new chapter in her life. This is how the book starts off. Um, she is a criminal lawyer and she was married to another lawyer for years. Um, very well established in their careers, um, you know, just well established in their lives, but their relationship was not where it needed to be. So she is going through a divorce. He is newly divorced um, and she's not in a good place, you guys, just to be completely honest. Um, she's moping around the house. You know how we are and ending in relationships, especially if it was uh, someone that you loved and it just didn't turn out how you would have hoped. She's moping around, she's not eating, she's depressed, she's going through that, but she has an amazing support system. Uh, she has a couple of girlfriends in this book which are just amazing. They definitely make their presence known uh, in the book. And so they are kind of pushing her to get out and just explore new things and just let her know that she wasn't completely happy in that situation. Uh, and let's see if we can just start a new beginning, a better beginning, okay? So she starts to put herself out, she's dating, and um, the very first guy that catches her eye or that <laughs> makes sure that she sees him is Richard, okay? Um, Richard is, he's the guy you take home to your family, okay? Uh, she's exercising one day, she's in the park, she's running, <clears throat> and he's running along as well. They bump into each other. Now they are acquaintances. They know of each other. Um, but what he, what she didn't know was that he's always kind of liked her from afar. Okay. But was respectful of the marriage that she was in. Um, now that she's single, he's letting her know that he's interested. So he is also an attorney, you know, very well established in his career, but he's a good guy overall. Like he's a really good guy. He's really nice. He's all about sweeping her off of her feet. Uh, making sure that she has what she wants, making her feel special, which is something that she wasn't really used to. Um, and so um, the previous marriage was that they showed a good face for the public, but behind closed doors, um, there was no substance, you know. Um, so he just makes her feel special. She doesn't know that feeling and, um, and she kind of falls for him. But here we go, here we go. The other side to that, you guys, is Jabari. Jabari comes into the picture and just shuts things down. You hear me? Um, her and the girls go out one night. Uh, they go out to the club. She wasn't really feeling the club because she's a woman of a particular age. Um, but she goes and she's enjoying herself. And this young buck, 25, Jabari, 
um, comes and buys her a bottle uh, and buys a couple bottles for the ladies and he's kind of just putting himself out there. He's with his homeboys, but he's making himself known to Isis that he he likes her. All right. Uh, and like I said, he's giving her a different vibe, different energy than what she's used to or she hasn't had in a while. Um, his attraction to her is very obvious and he's letting her know and they, yeah, so uh, Jabari's just giving her vibes and he's letting her know that he's interested and she keeps trying to fight him off. She keeps making up excuses as to why he's not a good fit for her. Number one, the age, of course. Number two, that, you know, she's a woman of a particular stature in her life and she doesn't want to be uh, recognized with him. But as she continues to fight, uh, the more she fights, the more he grabs her attention. And so he and Isis start relations as well. So um, here's the drama. Like this is where the drama comes in because there's plenty of drama, plenty of twists and turns in this read. The ending you will never guess. Um, but the drama in this is she's dating both guys, right? She likes both. She's getting the, the best of both worlds. Um, she's getting two different spectrums. So she has Richard, which is more of her caliber, um, but giving her vibes that she loves, giving her wifey vibes. And then she has Jabari over here, which is giving her energy, which is giving her excitement, um, which is giving her just a different freedom that she's not used to. She's living a different way. Um, now, and, and she's torn. So she's dating them both. I do not believe maliciously, but because she just got out of something long term. And let's just be honest, when you get out of a long term relationship, marriage, whatever that is, you don't want to jump right back into something. Because honestly, let me just say, speak for myself. I don't or I didn't. Um, and you're just trying to figure things out. And that's where she is. But something happens. And I can't, I don't want to go deep into it because I'm going to tell too much, but something happens where she is forced to tell both guys um, about each other. And they're both devastated. Like they're both upset with her because they both had that type of love for her. I mean, she's a beautiful woman. She's successful. She's an attractive woman in all aspects of that word. She has a lot to bring to the table. So they both were feeling some type of way when she exposed uh, her relationship with both men. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> um, so along with that information and they both knowing about each other, um, uh, her ex-husband comes back into play in such a major way, you guys, in such a major way. It's going to blow your mind. You know how sometimes we watch movies or, or read books, whatever it is, and we always try to figure out what that ending is. You're not going to figure out this ending. I did that. And it was just like, huh? <gasps> It was that. It was it was that type of ending. Um, I found myself not wanting to put this book down, but also trying to stretch out the read as long as I could because I didn't want it to be over. And that is what you want. It engrossed me in that way. So I definitely will give this five stars, two thumbs up um, without giving away too much. Um, and side note as well. I don't think I gave Jabari enough credit. Jabari, although he is young, um, it's not like he's coming at her because of what she can do for him. He is a business owner. He is an entrepreneur. He has his own business. He has a wonderful place that he stays in the city, um, which he introduces her to and she knows he's paying some money for it. So he's young, but he's not looking for anything for her that he doesn't have himself. He's actually genuinely interested in her. He's just young and, um, and he's not, uh, he may not be the best fit for her at this particular stage in her life, but who knows, right? Who knows? Um, so check that out. Uh, again, the name of the book is Foolish at 40, super juicy, super entertaining. It's a great write. Uh, the writer did a wonderful job putting everything together. Uh, the characters mesh well together uh, and the supporting cast as well. And um, until the next time, you guys, again, it's Sheba. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and hit that bell, okay? Um, as I always end every particular video that I'm in, and I mean it wholeheartedly, you guys, we are living in days where kindness is just really underrated and being kind to someone doesn't cost us a thing, okay? Be kind to someone if you can. Uh, if you can be a blessing to someone besides yourself and your family, do that, okay? Uh, and you and your families stay blessed as well. Until the next time, it's your girl, Sheba. I'm out of the building, bare skin and lips as well. Um, and that's it. Peace. Love you guys. Bye-bye.